Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure. I did a bunch of mods to the front of this uh, Honda Ridgeline. This is a 2017. The whole front end has changed a little bit for us, and I think it looks better. It's all blacked out, as you can see. And I'm going to just walk you through a few things in this video. I also did, uh, let me show you these. I also did flares. And one big thing I had to do was remove this front bumper. I had to do that to install the flares. I had to do that to, to put in new fog light bulbs. I had to do that to, uh, to do a lot of things here. I had to get the grill off. I wanted to get this black chrome piece off uh, because it had a lot of chips and bubbles in it. And I wanted to sand it a little bit and, and paint it or wrap it. I'll go over that in the video. And I also needed to refinish the headlights. And it's safer to do these. With the bumper off so you don't get anything on the paint. I did use the Cerakote headlight refinisher on the headlights and on this emblem which I'll show you the before, the after, and then I'll show you the tinting it at the end of the video. So a couple of things about taking this bumper off. First, I'll put a link to the directions uh, for the flares and also um, for something else but it shows you how to remove the bumper and you know follow those directions take your time old plastic clips are gonna break just get over it if you want to go buy new ones you can uh, you might be able to find some on ebay i mean or ebay or amazon and um you know I've, i'm sure i have a few broken clips in here in fact i know i do and uh you know i'm just gonna leave it, it it's fine it's not all of them it's just a few of them um Wear rubber gloves. You know, I got some of those black mechanics gloves I always use. Put a blanket down for the bumper. You know, and just be gentle. Use use some finesse and just kind of pull things off evenly. Don't pull with one hand. Pull with two when you're pulling this bumper off. Uh, you know, and you know, when, it, when the bumper's off, you know, you can, like I said, you can replace your fog lights, turn signals. Um, you can upgrade your horn like I did. You can paint things if you need to. I put a dual horn in here. You'll see that in the video. And, uh, you know, and refinish the headlights. Um, you know, it's great. Just be patient. The bumper will come off. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Um, that's it. So let's get on with this video. All right. Okay, folks. I'm installing the flares today. I got a little ahead of myself and didn't film, but I went ahead and put the rear flares on. One thing to note, you can reinstall the mud flap, but the holes won't line up. So you have to go ahead and push the mud flap on kind of hard and then make some new holes. Um, they, did, they were off by just a little bit. Uh, one might work, the other one you might have to make a new hole to make one of those self-tapping screws work. But that's the deal with the, uh, with the mud flap. Otherwise, the flares went on real easy. I reused a lot of the clips per the directions, and the directions were great. And they just basically snapped on. Now, I did clean everything underneath the fender um, because, you know, there was a lot of dirt and grime. This, this truck has a lot of miles, so I wanted to get that cleaned up. But anyway, so, you know, the rear, the rear was pretty simple, and it went on, went on quite well. I'm sorry it's not a more detailed install. The directions were real good. I was trying to get a lot of stuff done. I only had a few days to do all these things. So I wanted to show you these. If you have any questions, you can reach out, and, you know, whatever experience I can uh, give you, I will. I just want to note... You can get all the install directions for these at College Hills Honda online. They have a lot of installed instructions and it's awesome. Okay, this is the front. I've already removed the OE flare that came on the ridge line. You can see where the clips go into the metal fender. Underneath on the wheel tub, there are, I believe, four uh, self-tapping screws that go, go in there and help hold it on as well I mean you know they think of everything everything's got two or three ways it fastens on so if you get in a wreck pieces don't fly everywhere 
So here's the other side, and you can see where the screws go and the little square holes are where the snaps go. Use a nylon tool to remove these. Do not use any type of screwdriver or anything like that. Only nylon trim tools, and those work the best. And just be gentle and be careful. Now here you can see I'm about to snap a front fender on, a front flare on, sorry. The green pieces of tape are used to hold back the piece that's on the 3M tape inside this big flare. So all the way around are these 3M double stick tape pieces and you have to pull the backing off. Well the backing, what I do is I peel it a little bit and I, I let it extend out and then I use a piece of green tape to tape it down. This is all in the install directions, but I just wanted to show you that. And then you just pull that red piece off and it helps. It just helps in the installation and getting that tape to adhere really well. And also keep, you know, helps you with lining it up because it doesn't automatically just stick onto the fender, but you'll see. Here I'm taping up the headlight, um, around the headlight. You want to do this. Um, per the directions, it shows you doing that to protect the front bumper. I'm doing this because I'm also going to refinish the headlights. I don't have a full video of that, but I used the Cerakote and it worked great. I also used the Cerakote on the front emblem, which the, uh, the safety sensor is behind. And I will show you how I did that as well in another video. But there you go, you can see the green tape that helped me adhere the 3M double stick tape to it. Yeah, so basically what you're seeing here is the, the, the flares are all put on in the back and in the front, and then you have to attach two separate pieces to the bumper. And once you do that, and you do have to drill holes in your bumper, but it's, it's fine, you know, Honda thought of everything, and it's all in the directions, uh, there's a guide and everything. It's real easy. But then you just put those front pieces of the flares on the front bumper. Once you do that, the flares are done, and you can reinstall your bumper if you're not going to do anything else. I went ahead and changed out my fog light bulbs, and I installed a dual horn. I used a PIA 500 and 600 megahertz, and... Basically, the one on the passenger side, I had to run a wire to the driver's side. You can see here where I grounded it. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. And then I ran the power wire across the top of the radiator following the harness that's all the way there. I just zip tied it to that, came out. I bolted the other horn where the original one was, which was just a low, torn, low, a low tone. And then I grounded it. And then I ordered a... And then I ordered off Amazon this little plug-in harness. You can also get these at College Hills Honda, I believe. I ordered a couple of different ones so I could get them to work. I'll put a link to that under the video in the description, just like the rest of this stuff. You know, the flares, the Cerakote I used on the headlights, everything I used here to refinish the grill and the front emblem and everything, there will be links under the video in the description. By the way, the horn is amazing. It sounds very European, but it's really loud. And for the price, you just couldn't beat it. It's very loud, gets people's attention. Sounds like you're driving a Porsche or some type of European car. Now here, what I'm doing is refinishing the grill. And the grill, you know, had been sitting in the sun for seven years. Uh, this vehicle's got a lot of miles. And I wanted to make it look new. So I had some old Meguiar's Ultimate Black. And it's in an aerosol form in a can. And I used this on the Tacoma to refinish the wheel tubs. Made them look brand new. And, and they just stayed that way. It's, it's kind of like, smells like a clear lacquer or some type of clear spray paint. I'm not sure what it is. It's very toxic. Wear a mask when you spray this and gloves. I don't even know if they sell it anymore in an aerosol form. It's probably... I think they just, they sell it like a, like a liquid form that you rub on with some microfiber cloths. But it made the grill look new again. It has that shiny, 
or kind of a matte black even look to it. So I did all the gray, the, the grill that had turned kind of grayish and um, on the above part behind the, you know, the, the front emblem and also the bottom piece in the bottom part of the bumper between the fog lights and the driving lights. Now, one of the things I wanted to do and my son wanted to do was to take this black chrome strip that's above the grill. They call it the upper grill garnish, I think, and wrap it. Well, I tried to wrap it. It just had too many curves and the wrap I got was too stiff. It just wasn't, wasn't, um, it wasn't applying correctly. So I decided I was going to go ahead and Plasti Dip it. So I had some matte black Plasti Dip and I went ahead and did that and it looks fine. You know, it had a lot of imperfections. It had a bubble under the, the chrome finish and it had a lot of scratches and chips on it. So it looks great in matte black. So here's the finished truck. There's the HPD flares on it. And the clear headlights now, they're all they're not foggy anymore. They look almost like new. You can see I've, you know, painted that black chrome piece on the upper grill. I painted it that nice. It's kind of more of a flat black, matte black kind of, but it looks good. The, uh, the grill, I refinished that. What you don't see is another thing I did was refinish the front emblem. So what I did was get some of that Cerakote headlight refinisher and use that. It worked great. Just follow the directions, have some microfiber cloths, a bottle, a squirt bottle of water, um, some rubber gloves, and um, you know, you should do fine. Just read all the directions. It's step by step. It's really easy to use. I use the same stuff on the headlights. And again, I'll put links to all these things under the video in the description. So be sure and check it out if you're interested. But I, I really like this Cerakote headlight refinisher. It seemed to be really easy and work great. Okay, folks. Let's tint this emblem and black this whole thing out. What do you think? I think it'll go right there. Pretty cool. We got some directions here. So basically, it's just a peel and stick, like a sticker. So you go ahead and stick it on. You get it as even as you can. There is a little bit of overlap, but just a little bit, so be careful. And then you sit there and you, you know, I'm using one of these little plastic things like to put a, to put wrap on your car or over the trim. You can also use your driver's license or a felt squeegee. Don't use anything sharp. It will tear this tint. Well, we worked at it for a while and parked it in the sun and we got most of them out. There's still a few, but it still looks very good and I'm probably gonna leave it. You know, uh, the next thing, maybe we'll change that chrome black edition lettering on the grill to something else but i'm okay with that it's as you know it's just shiny but there it is all blacked out all refinished you know ended up looking really good Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video on the 2017 Honda Ridgeline where I did a bunch of mods to it. I put flares on it, tinted the, uh, the emblem here after I refinished it, redid the headlights, painted this piece, this chrome piece up top here, you know, and uh, cleaned up the grill, made it look new using that Meguiar's uh, Ultimate Black stuff or whatever it is. It used to come in an aerosol can. And that was that smelled pretty bad, but now it comes in like a squirt bottle. I'm not sure how the squirt bottle stuff, the liquid stuff, would uh, would work. The aerosol worked great. It's almost, it was almost like spraying a clear lacquer on here. I did this one down here as well. You know, and uh, you know, got some new fog light bulbs in. Got an awesome new dual horn. Got the flares. Changed the look of the whole vehicle. Looks great. And uh, 
you know, I hope you keep watching. I've got some more videos coming on the Ridgeline. Actually, I've got a lot. I've just been filming and filming and filming. I just can't get them done. I've got a couple more cars here I'm doing videos on. And, uh, you know, if you would, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And, uh, you know, any tips and tricks that I can give you, I will. I just got this, and I'm just playing around with it and uh, seeing where it goes. And I think that's all I got. Just subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and comment. Ask me questions. You know, definitely, uh, you know, ask questions. How would you do this? How would you do that? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? You should have done it this way. I want to hear your comments. And, uh, you know, um, and we'll go from there. And I'll be making some new videos. So, so thanks for watching. And I'm going to go inside and get started on editing some more video. And I will see you next time. See ya.